In 2012, at least 16,000 babies died within the first month of birth due to exposure to environmental hazards caused by oil extraction in the Niger Delta region, according to the Swiss Institute for Economic Research. The same Swiss organization also said an estimated 383 children out of every 1,000 die immediately after birth due to dilapidated healthcare facilities in the Niger Delta. Research also showed communities with constant cases of oil spillage and other unethical exploration processes have a higher risk of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, cancer, kidney disease and diabetes. The Petroleum Industry Bill was first proposed years ago to reform Nigeria's oil industry and address the suffering of host communities. Through successive administrations since 1999, Niger Deltans persevered pushing for the adoption of a federal law that would address their decades of anguish and deprivation. But when the law was finalized last month, they didn't get what they had hoped for. Instead, the oil mafias came with $10 million bribe for members of the National Assembly to adopt a 3% developmental levy from oil earnings and reject the minimum 10% demanded by host communities, and even the 5% initially harmonized by lawmakers themselves according to disgruntled senators and House members. Lawmakers said Senate President Ahmad Lawal and House Speaker Femi Bajabiamela cornered $2 million individually while giving floor members $5,000 for biscuits. The senator said he was given $20,000 from the $10 million bribe. A House member said he was given $5,000 to buy biscuits for his family. Niger Deltas have vowed to obtain the law in the wake of the bribery scandal. Meanwhile, their region would continue to languish as Mrs. Lawan and Bajabia Mela upgrade their baby boy lifestyle.